Guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here bringing you an awesome Coaster Gaps video for Bush Gardens Tampa. There may not be as many options in this video as some of my others, but this is my opinion of which coasters Bush Gardens Tampa will add and which ones are the best fit in my opinion. The coasters that they have are an Intamin Blitz coaster, which in my opinion is the best coaster in the park. They have a B&M sit-down looping coaster, a B&M invert, a B&M dive coaster, a Schwarzkopf looper, which is my opinion their top five. They have a Mack Ride spinning coaster that's new for 2016, Cobra's Curse. They have a Wild Mouse coaster, and they also have a Zero Kids coaster. So I think they have a pretty good coaster collection for having only eight coasters. But which coasters do you think they should add. My first option is a B&M hybrid coaster. Now, Sheikra is 200 feet tall, and you may consider it a hybrid coaster, but it's a dive coaster. So, I'd rather they have something a true hyper coaster. A lot of their coasters go upside down, and Cheetah Hunt may have some ejector airtime, but they don't really have a true coaster that's all about the all about the airtime. Having a B&M Hyper would give them an airtime-filled roller coaster with an out-and-back layout, and it'd be a good fit for the park. My next option is to RMC Gwazi. A lot of people are speculating, oh, this will be, this coaster will be an RMC in the year so-and-so. But I think they should RMC it in 2020. This would have been four years since Cobra's Curse, and they do deserve... And Gwazi deserves um, a new life as a new roller coaster, an RMC racing coaster. They could have it one continuous track, but I'd rather they have it two separate coasters. Because I think racing coasters are amazing. You get to race the other side. The drop could be steep. There could be some awesome hang time and air time moments. It'd be an amazing ride. And you can also put some inversions. My next option is a GCI wooden coaster. Like I said earlier, Gwazi was a GCI, but if it was RMC'd, then they wouldn't have any true wooden coaster at their park. If they wanted to have a wooden coaster, they should just go to GCI and build a GCI wooden coaster. Because at Bush Gardens Williams Williamsburg, they're planning to build a GCI family wooden coaster, but this should be a true thrilling GCI wooden coaster. About 100 feet tall, 50 miles an hour, about 4,000, about 3,000 3, to 4,000 feet of track. It'd be an amazing fit. My next option is a B&M Giga Coaster. A lot of people are speculating that this could come in about 10 years or so. I think a B&M Giga Coaster would be a good fit for Busch Gardens Tampa, but I don't think they're on the level of that yet. But they could be in the next few years once they add a B&M Hyper Coaster. My next option is a B&M Flying Coaster. B&M Flying Coasters are always fun. They got the pretzel loop, a fun, intense drop. Overall, B&M Flyers are a lot of fun. I can imagine them having it like 130 feet tall, 55 miles an hour. It'd be an amazing fit with the pretzel loop, and they could add a few more elements. My next option is a B&M Family Invert. This is one coaster that I think should go to basically any park on the planet because it would give them a family coaster. It would be the new Aero Suspended Coaster, in my opinion. This is the new Aero Suspended Coaster because there's two people across. You're um, inverted below the track, but you're not suspended like you're flying like what I'm doing with the camera here. But uh, I think this would be a good fit for Bush Gardens Tampa. And I can imagine them beating out Six Flags Great Adventure or Cedar Point someday with the most B&Ms out of any amusement park on the planet. My next option is a B&M Floorless Coaster, and this could be an okay option, but they already have a Floorless Coaster, which is a dive coaster. They have an, in they have an inverted coaster, which is floorless. 
But I think a B&M Floros coaster that's not as good as Kumba or Mantu, but still good, would be a good fit. Like it could have about it could be about 115 feet tall, 55 miles an hour. It could have about 3,000 feet of track, about five inversions. It would be a nice fit for the park. And my final option is a B&M wing coaster. This is Busch Gardens Tampa we're talking about. They could theme this very well, like they did with Cobra's Curse. And they could theme it to, like, an African bird. It could have about four, four or five inversions with some keyhole towers. It'd be a nice fit for Busch Gardens Tampa. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.